an all-star race. Yeah, almost everybody is just yeah. was disappearing. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, was that last year? That, I think that was two years ago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because that was, that was bad. But mm -hmm. we had went so far into the race, like, it was hard to just say, oh, yeah, we're redoing it, because it was, like, one by one by one slowly over we're the course green. of the race. It wasn't, like, all at once, Red. you know yeah. what I mean? If it was all at once, we go. might have restarted it, yeah, especially if it was early. Yeah. All right, green. Good luck, guys. I'm coming in show sure Thanks. I like to let the field cross the line. Just, uh, I find that if I jump in ASAP, sometimes someone lags out, so I just like to wait a bit. Careful, still there. Not here. Still there inside. I thought so. How many laps in this day? 29. Okay. And how long is the fuel run? Hold your line, got one inside. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's yeah, if you're if you're drafting in the pack and lifting lots naturally, which everyone should be able to, it's that's how it goes. Then yeah, you can get about 22 or 23. But you have pack. to be doing that the whole run, pretty much. Hold your line, got one inside. Got a car coming in. No, now. not at all. I'm just saying that later in the final stage, you just that's a room. You're clear. Stage. Here we go. Stay high, stay high. Inside. Welcome to the show, folks. We are live at Talladega Super Speedway on NASCAR Heat 5 for round 10 of the 2022 series season. Again, folks, here on NASCAR Heat 5 started back in 2018 on NASCAR Heat 3. Outside, and we've outside. evolved and transferred all the way here, folks. We are rock and roll with the Alabama 5 sports, so you can only imagine how hungry Jeffrey Robinson Jr. Careful, is coming into tonight's race at Talladega. He knows how solid he is at the Super Speedways. He knows it's a big opportunity for him to win a race, and still looking for that first career in Oscar Still there. Platinum Cup Series Got one inside. Hold your line. Got one inside. Bottoms, Blair Roussel, your top five, but it's all going to change again. Pretty much everybody in this group is bad. coming to pit road. Oh, you can see contact there between the 14 and the 8. with Alex Hesdall, the driver of the number 17 Ford Mustang, but anyway, but he has the draft now, and he's going to be there when they come out of turn four. To the yeah, top he goes. Now. He's got to run with Dustin Franklin, Jordan Routon, Trenton Franks, the entire now. group goes with them, except for Charles Jackson, outside. and to the race lead goes the 17 car with four laps to go in stage one. Car on the outside now. And a power move, folks. He goes back down to the bottom. He clears Harold Burton. He takes clear. the lead. And now it's going to take a strong run on the outs at the end of the stage to get that free pass. Sorry, I figured I'd elaborate there. We are in stage one. Got a car high now. And now that outside line, it's coming in. Charles Jack, clear. stage one win here at Talladega. Round 10 of the 2022 NASCAR Platinum Cup Series season. Long NASCAR P5 on the off. PlayStation console. Two to go. The road is closed. The outside line they making a charge. It looks like Harold Burden is going to join them up there. He'll be the first car in that line. So if it prevails, it looks like it's going to be Harold Burden going to the lead. Alex Tesdall pulls up to, to block and to run that line. He might change his mind when he gets to the corner. And he does. A smart move there, right, and Harold right. got up and into the outside wall somehow. I didn't exactly see how that started, but he lost all of his momentum, and now he rides in an eighth, and he might actually have a tire down. He lost the, the draft of the lead group. It's now only seven of them battling the for the stage one win. The white flag is in the air. 
the next time by, they will see the green and white checkered flag. Crimson Axis Motorsports runs one, two, three, and it'll be interesting to see it's how high. they run All the rest right. of this one. And to the outside right. goes Justin right. Franklin in the 78. There, Jackson, the Trenton, Prince, and Jeffrey Robinson Jr. are all going to go with them. One last charge, one last gas up right there on the outside line. Four against three. They're going to have the momentum coming out of turn four. It's going to be a side-by-side -side drag race to the start-finish line, but it looks like it's Alex Testall holding on to the stage one win by a front splitter, no more. And a great push from his teammates there, Jesse Carlson and Alan Richardson. All of the cars you see in this picture are all getting stage points. At the end of stage two, this race for your stage one winner and in race reporter, Triple Crown right, winner, man. Alex Hesdall. It'll be interesting to see how stage two unfolds. Everybody now. will have to come to pit road again I'll under green. Line, got one inside. And we'll do it all over again, folks. They're racked up again, Looking two right by now. two by two. The green flag has been shown and into turn one. They go. Got one down low now. Oh, contact, hopefully. Oh, there was contact at the beginning there. The 20 of Trenton Krenz, the 88 of Landon Jenkins. They both went down below the yellow oh, line. Clear. Amazingly enough, Trenton got back up in line, did not lose the draft, and did not cause a 10-car pile up in the process. Landon Jenkins was not so lucky. He has lost the draft with this group. It's already only the first lap in stage two, so he might go a lap down by the end of this. Out front, it's Beam SKP, folks. Driver out of France. This year's Daytona 500 winner. He's getting a big push from Dustin Franklin, who has not been racing full time this season. It's doing all right. Just trying to keep it low. Just lost a few spots on the outs. Still there. Still there yeah. inside. Getting a little whack here, but calm down here. Looking and you're not kidding. Now. Best of luck to you the rest of the way. It looks like a lot of them inside. are starting to make some moves, especially up there in the outside. Alan Richardson just got shuffled out there a moment ago. Lost his top three spot. Alex Tesdall is going to give up the lead to Careful, CWI in the 95 Toyota for Juicy J Motorsports. The very first lap he's led here there. in the Oscar Platinum Cup Series. Got one outside and now. Alex will stay in second for the time being. Beam SKP up there in third. Kyle Bowers in fourth. Matt Smith runs in fifth. Highest Kyle Bowers all and Smith line, have driver. run all race long. All right, clear off right. Earl Burden trying to recover and get back to the front. He gave up all of those stage points in stage one, and I believe it was due to a tire problem. It had all the looks of it, and there was contact there between, I believe, Careful. the 6 and the Still 14. There. Nate might have been the 37. Inside. One of the cars on the bottom swerved a little bit, and Jesse had nowhere to go. Oh, contact was made. He left right, the goal, but it was a great gesture and a great move there by his teammate, to Alan go. Richardson, to cut him a break, left a little bit, Inside. let him get back in line. And how about Timmy Brown in the 19 for Careful. Juicy J Motorsports? Your 2018 Big Yard 200 winner, long-time NASCAR driver, has a win as well on, uh, in the NASCAR Outlaw Series on Breakfast. And Careful. he's up there in the top 12, looking pretty strong, getting a good push from team now. owner Jeffrey Robinson Jr. And up into the wall goes Jesse Carlson in the sixth. And that might have actually been from a push from his teammate, I'm really not too sure. Roll down to Jesse. What happened there, buddy? Yeah, it looks like just a push too hard on the outside. Same with what happened there. Track and Krentz in the 20 earlier in the stage. And he had just too much and got put up in the wall. We try to rebound yeah. and do what we can. Yeah, I'm really sorry to see that. And a bit of a rookie 88 car. He lost the draft with this lead group on lap one in stage two. So he will be able to stay out and, and finish the stage on the fuel and tires that he has and therefore be on the lead lap still. And here's a look at Emily. 
she was up there in this got group in the top inside. 12 there for a moment. You can see the lead group oh, not too far in front of her. I'm getting word she lost the draft just about two or three laps ago. A strong run for her, not a mark Careful. on that car, and still has high hopes to go out there and win this thing in the there. final stage. You got a car low now. Outside, outside, inside. And it's getting a little dicey here towards the back of the lead pack. And at the line, it's Max Webb picking up the stage win. 51st career. Stage win here in the NASCAR Platinum Cup Series, and yes, folks, that is the all-time record. And now I, I know Kyle should still be on the lead lap. What are you feeling like for your chances in the final stage? Mm, I don't know. Coming here in green, the back. Driver. Be ready. I don't know. Just gonna have to avoid carnage and try and survive this 33 lap final stage. Best of luck to you, my friend. The green flag has been shown. 33 laps remaining here in the Alabama 500. It's the second Super Speedway race of the 2022 Final Cup Series line. season. The first one, it. Big Horn Beach 500, won by French foreign driver Beam SKP, the number 14 Ford Mustang. He's in the field and he's up there in the top 12, but it's still anybody's race. 24 drivers took the green flag to begin this one. And we have three drivers off the racetrack and still over 17 cars on the lead lap with a chance to go out there and park it in victory lane. The race is being led right, by the two-time Oscar Platinum Cup Series champion Top Matt Smith for the World Wolf Motorsports. Daryl Burton right behind him along with Jeffrey Robinson Jr. down folks we're going to bring you back to full the commentary and flag the flag coverage of round 10 of the 2022 you got room you're clear there slow down it's in all Jesse came back up the track a little bit and into the side of the 38 car. The 95 got a piece as well, but it's going to be interesting to see where everybody cycles through when this is all done. Now, Kyle Bowers and Matt Smith, they're drafting together. It's just a pair of them. Harold Burden, Charles Jackson, they're drafting as well together, and it's just a pair of them. If, if these oh, drivers the in this group that just came to pit road if they can stay grouped up, then they're going to have that speed advantage for the rest of this race. And it looks like the pack is going to be led by Jordan Routon, the home track hero, with Alec Richardson behind him in second. Excuse me, folks. I, I do understand. Yes, the, the 38 car. Oh, wait. The, the 38 is scored the leader, so, so the two yeah. is a lap down? Oh man, the, something major has happened at some point or another for Jordan Routon. He is not the race leader, evidently. The 38 car of Alan Richardson is your race leader. With Trey Hollywood running in second, Jesse Carlson scored in third. That's the top three in your frame, except for with the exception of the, of the two of Jordan Routon. There is a group behind them being led by Aaron Garcia in the 24 and Harold Burden in the 16. They're trying desperately to run them down. Actually, folks, check that. It is Kyle Bowers leading this group now with Matt Smith, Aaron Garcia, and Timmy Hello, Brown. Timmy, of course, is one lot down. Clear all around there. So the top six in the running order still have a pretty good chance of getting out there and and taking the lead and winning this race. We can tell you Harold Burden for Rockstar Racing in the 16 is running in seventh. In case you were wondering, because he's been up there up front all race long. And 
so now the race leader is Trey Holly with a 48. He's your pole sitter for this one as well. Jesse Carlson and Alan Richardson, they are running second and third, 38 and the six. It's the two and the 11 that are not on the lead lap that are in this frame. And the second group of cars is now there. Kyle Bowers in the 37 yeah, with a big now. head of steam is going to pull up to the outside line and make a big yeah, run for racing. Under 15 laps remaining here, Talladega will get an exact, an exact lap count in just a moment. Still there inside. Tend to go awesome, thank you. Thank you, Alex, and again, brother, I, I am sorry that you race went up in smoke, my friend. That's how these races go. These races are wild, and it still could go up in smoke for many of these drivers that are up here still battling for the still lead there. and for the win. Now, Alan Richardson makes a big move to the bottom. They were three wide for a moment. They split the last car of Jordan Routen, trying to get him out of the, the equation. And to the lead, Careful. the Crimson Access Motorsports goes Alan Richardson in the 38 Ford Mustang. He's on the bottom, which is the preferred groove. And now Trey Hollywood's going to get down to the Still bottom and be inside. second in line and second on the leaderboard. Jesse Carlson is the only lead lap car Careful, still up there. on the outside line trying to make it work. Alan Richardson went up to try to block him and he left the bottom open for Trey Hollywood and now they're three wide for the lead. Still there? Oh my goodness. Now if I'm not mistaken, now. it's eight laps to go and you can really tell folks the level of urgency, the, the level of intensity, it has all picked up. It's been gradually picking up since the beginning of this race, and it's only getting more and more intense. Still there? Still there? And they are still side by side trying to figure out who's going to win this race. On the outside for Crimson Access Motorsports, it's Jesse Carlson in the six. On the inside, inside. it's a pair of Timac Motorsports Chevys and getting a push from Alan Richardson, another Crimson Access Motorsports car. The last oh, cars that are in this group, high. you can tell, are lifting a little bit with the exception of maybe Jordan Routen in the two. The others, like Timmy Brown and Em's going to tuck in line. Timmy Brown does the same. Jesse's going to have a couple of lap cars in between the And the 47 is coming. He's got the run I was mentioning. I know he's going to try to make a move to the top. He does. Aaron Garcia anticipated it, and the contact is made. Around goes Kyle Bowers. Timmy Brown in the 19. Oh, the nowhere to go. He was collected in that. And the 37 machine is now parked against the inside wall near the entrance of turn three, and it looks like his shot at winning this race is now over. Oh, and the 24 of Aaron Garcia nearly lost the draft of the new group the there, and I didn't see what happened to him. There had, how did the 24 lose the draft? Was it because of the incident with the with the 19 and the 37? I'm honestly not sure. I wouldn't think so. I didn't think so either, because I think he was still right there with him, so we missed something changing the cameras there, folks, and I don't know how exactly, but yeah, the... The 24 of Aaron Garcia now running in fifth is no longer oh, up been there. Forced, been forced below the yellow. Ooh. And they're still battling for the lead and for the win. It looks like the bottom line is going to be the stronger line. Three wide. Alan Richardson takes third away from Matt Smith in the 47 and clears the two of Jordan Wrighton, who is the first car one lap down there. as well. Now, if I'm not mistaken, three to go. Correct me anytime, guys. This is getting wild. Yeah, we are coming to it now. When the leader hits the line this time by, we will have three laps remaining. Still there. We've got a car low now. Until we find out who parts of the victory lane here tonight. Inside. These NASCAR Platinum Cup Series races oh, July, are so hard to win. Always big fields, oh, always talented, oh. stacked fields of drivers. Still there inside. And they know when they come to a track yeah, like Daytona and out. Talladega, it really levels the playing field, really levels the talent out here. And everybody, all 24 of these drivers that came tonight, had a shot to win this race. And that's kind of Careful. what makes these Still races bad. so hard to win. 
Everybody has a chance. Anything can happen. You're all that. grouped up in a 20 or 25 car pack, and it just makes it very, very tough to overcome every obstacle and win the high-speed chess match. And time will tell who's going to do it here tonight. Two to go, I believe. Yes, sir. Two to go, driver. And I know somebody's going to make a move. I have a feeling it's going to be Matt Smith in the 47. Question is, when does he do it and what's he do? I think he's going to make a move to the outside. I, I, I don't think that Trey's going to give up the bottom. He's a very experienced racer. A specialist on the super speedways for quite some time. I don't think he's going to make the kind of mistake like like getting off the bottom and, and letting someone get there. I don't think it's going to happen. I think you're going to need to beat him on the top. It's going to come down to what Allen does in the 38, what Matt does in the 47. Jesse Carlson scored in fourth. He's got two cars that are a lap down or more. In, in between, he and the top three will see what he can do. All the right, white flag, flag has been shown. Final lap in the Alabama oh, 500. Right, All right, you're clear. This is going to be intense. Kyle Bowers goes a lap down to your leaders. And now he's going to be on the outside line to help Matt Smith here, you can tell. Or will he? And now Alan Richardson Until takes the lead, back. but he definitely went up. below the yellow line. Jesse Carlson is going to take advantage. He goes to the inside. Jordan Routon goes for a spin, and the, the 37, I believe, helped him do that. Outside. And now coming out of turn four, Matt Smith with a huge move. Jesse's going to need to block or make contact Careful, to keep there. him back, Good and he job. does. Way to earn that checker flag. Jesse Carlson wins the Alabama 500 here on NASCAR Heat 5 in a wild and dramatic drag race to the line, a high-speed chess match.